No tender voice like thine can be self for I need the whole I need the The Lord before we sure do need him now. Yeah, yeah, we sure do need him now. In the morning, we sure do need him now. If the Lord died, we shall not need him. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. The Lord before we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. He was there with the three Hebrew children by the fire. We sure do need him now. Oh yeah, I say we need him in the morning. Now we need him in the night time. We sure do need him now. We need him every day and every hour. We never need him though. We never needed the Lord before. We sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. Oh yeah, yeah. We sure do need him now. The Lord. We never needed the Lord before. We sure do need Him now. We need Him every day and every hour. When I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we sure do need Him now. Oh, when you know and I know that the devil is around you, we sure do need Him now. When you know and I know that the devil is around you, we sure do need Him now. 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 We need him every day and every hour. If we ever need Lord, if we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. We sure do need him now. Yeah, yeah, we sure do need him now. If we ever needed the Lord before, we sure do need him now. We need him every day. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes and raise our two hands to the Lord and pray for ourselves in this song. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, let us grow. Hallelujah. As I Along the way, the way is now. Oh, yes, Holy Spirit, be Holy Spirit, move me now. Hallelujah. Blessed Holy Spirit of heaven, sing it loud and clear, move me now, hallelujah, amen.
of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone it's not by works of righteousness but by his grace alone oh I'm complete in it complete hallelujah complete complete I'm pleading in him. Hallelujah. Complete. Amen. Last Sunday, we began to look at the topic killing the serpent of frustration. That particular Sunday, the Lord did a lot of mighty things. Today, we want to conclude that message. And pray the conclusive prayer to conclude it. This is not a day to negotiate with the enemy at all. Like you had yesterday, if you don't stop, then they will stop you. Any power trying to frustrate you is trying to frustrate your destiny. There is external frustration, there is internal frustration. And there are agents of frustration all around us. You will raise up your voices like fire and like thunder. Make sure that you pray with fire and with power. Say, so by the thunder of your power. Oh God, Allah. Can you shout that loud and clear? Frustrate my frustration. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it by the thunder of his power. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Now I want you to be specific. If it's marriage, say marriage. If it's career, say career. If it's calling, say calling. If it's your financial life, say my financial life. Put something inside this prayer now. Every power assigned to frustrate my career. Your time is up. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, just deal with our power now. Rika Sampendika Dana Ribo Saponde Kayabo Shentia Aha Aha Open your mouth and decree it is a decree Masse Pekatelaba in Jesus' name we pray. One frustrating enemy in the Bible was Pharaoh. Let my people go. I said, no. Let my people go. 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 No. And went on and on and on. One thing today, one thing tomorrow, one thing today, one thing tomorrow. Trying to frustrate Moses. And even after Moses had been released to go and, his, and the people of Israel, he still pursued them again to the Red Sea, wanting to frustrate Moses. But the Red Sea that brought deliverance to the people of Israel was the watery grave of the Egyptians. You will cry this loud and clear. Serpents of frustration! I bury you today. You can see, ah, I said my own today. Serpents of frustration. I bury you today. 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 In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to bury it. They must be buried. Masikaya bo shendera bo kontela kayaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. We give you praise, O oh Lord. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, open our understanding afresh. Lay your hands upon our lives. Any agent of frustration, any force, personality, power, arrangement, plan, program, agenda of the enemy to frustrate anyone here. We bury them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Have us sit and take our Bibles. God bless you. Last Sunday, we began to look at killing the serpent of frustration. And we read our first passage from the book of Ezra. Ezra, you find it after Second Chronicles. We read Ezra chapter 4 from 4 to 5. Ezra 4, 4 to 5. We read that passage last week. Then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them in building and hired counselors against them to frustrate their purpose. All the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, even unto the reign of Darius, king of Persia. We explained that day that frustration is a powerful force and spirit. And we define frustration to mean to break, to block, to interrupt, to defeat, to nullify, 
to bring to nothing, to hinder or to prevent. And that day we read Psalm 88 to give us a good description of what frustration means. And that day I began to tell you some hard facts about frustration. Number one, we said all heroes of faith experience their times of frustration. Number two, we said the serpent of frustration comes to question the people who have frustration, question whether God loves them or not. And we said there are also enemies assigned to frustrate the children of God. Number three, for we said frustration can make you better or bitter, depending on how you face it. Number five, we say there is a deep valley, a poisonous valley, known as the valley of frustration. And number six, we say frustration makes people feel that it's all over and that there is no hope. And some will say frustration launches severe attacks on our desires, our visions, our plans, goals, and dreams. And number eight, we said all those who have ever accomplished something in life has known some level of frustration. And number nine, we say there can be plenty of frustration at the place of work assigned against a staff of bread. And ten, we said deep frustration are driven people to murder, suicide, insanity, and deep depression. And that's why I think we stopped last week before we began to pray. Number 11 now. Frustrating marriages. Frustrating children. Frustrating jobs. Frustrating parents. Frustrating neighbors. They have brought sorrow to millions. There are lots of people who are into frustrating marriages now bringing sorrow to their lives. There are lots of people who have children now who are bringing frustration to their lives. Number 12. These are hard facts about frustration. It is impossible to eliminate frustration out of life. But in God, you can defeat them. In God, you can defeat them. Number 13. Frustration can turn a rat into a lion. It's just a rat, but because you didn't know that it was a rat, it became a lion. It's like a rat with a microphone and you thought it was a lion. Number 14. Frustration is a heartbreaker and a vicious killer. 15. The enemy may use you to frustrate yourself. That's why Galatians 2.21 says, I do not frustrate the grace of God upon my life. It's possible for you to be an agent of frustration unto yourself. 16. Frustration can come at different levels. These are hard facts about frustration. 17. If by habit you are an ungrateful person, then you become a stranger to happiness. If a person is habitually ungrateful, he welcomes frustration because the person now becomes a stranger to happiness. 18. Frustration sometimes means that you need to take a step back and meditate. You meditate. You take a step back and begin to think. Meditate on how you got to where you are and how to move forward. 19. Frustration can indicate that you need to prayerfully brainstorm. You prayerfully brainstorm. 20. Frustration can indicate that it is time to take over instead of take over. There is a time to take over. There is a time to take cover. Moses tried to take over when he should take cover and he got into trouble. When it was time for the mother and the father of Jesus to run, they ran. When they could come back, they came back. 21. Frustrations are sometimes opportunities that are badly managed. Opportunities that are badly managed. 22. The greatest form of frustration is time wastage. When somebody is wasting your time, is wasting your life. These are hard facts about frustration. 23. Frustration can be inherited. A person could come from a family where they are all experts at worrying and worrying and getting worried and getting worked up. And the person inherits that worry spirit. And the last but not the least, if you do not stop frustration, it will certainly stop you. 
So frustration is part of life. It is true that life is difficult. And the path to greatness is paved with frustration. The difference now comes on the way you react to the frustration. Or the way you handle the frustration. When frustration comes across some people, their reaction, the way they handle it, is weeping, crying, being sorrowful, self-pity, being hysterical, you behave like a mad person, cursing, shouting, abusing God, suicidal thoughts, suicidal attempts. Sometimes the frustration pushes people to become slaves of prophets and slaves of witch doctors or native doctors. Some become downcast, mournful, quarrelsome, agitated, withdrawn, complaining. They will murmur. They will abandon what they are doing for God. They abandon fellowship. They resign themselves to faith and destiny. They get heavily discouraged. And sometimes they give up. If that is how you are going to react against frustration, the frustration will eventually kill the person. What are the keys to killing frustration? That's the major part we're going this morning. The first key towards killing frustration is complete and absolute surrender to the Lord. Complete and absolute surrender to the Lord. The Bible says, submit yourself under the power of the Almighty God. And he shall exhort you in due time. Say, resist the enemy. And then the enemy shall flee from you. So if the enemy is now fleeing from you, what to check is the resistance you are putting up. But the first thing for you, the first thing for you to do to resist the enemy is complete surrender. Submit yourself under the power of the Almighty God. Any rebellion in your life will just magnetize frustration. Number two key is the key of brokenness. Brokenness. When God says sit down, you sit down. When he says stand up, you stand up. When he says pray, you pray. When you are broken, you really could not be bothered whether somebody is insulting you or not. When you are broken, you couldn't be bothered whether somebody is trying to malign your name or not. Broken people do not start fighting physically on the streets. Broken people do not issue curses against each other. The more broken you are, the more frustration runs away from you. And the less broken you are, the more frustration will come towards you. Moses standing there by the Red Sea was in trouble. Three million people were complaining against him. They said, is it because there is no grave in Egypt you brought us here? They were crying against him. And it can be very frustrating when 3 million people are shouting on you alone, on your own head. And these 3 million people have seen the signs and wonders that God did before. They cried against Moses. Moses did the most reasonable thing that could be done. He cried towards God. Number three, identify the root of your frustration. Identify the root of that frustration. If you don't identify it, you won't even know what to pray again. For acknowledge that your frustration is a sin. It's a sin. No, it's a sin for you as a believer to start getting frustrated. The Bible says, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God and believe in me also. You believe in the ability of God to take an impossible situation and make it a possibility. Five. Repent of the sin of allowing yourself to be frustrated. Because he said, let not your heart be troubled. It's your personal decision. Happiness is a choice. Happiness is a choice. You could choose to be happy no matter what situation you are. Six. Change your own ways. Instead of desiring people to change to suit you. Change your own ways. Instead of desiring people to change to suit you. These are ways to kill the serpent of frustration. Seven. Take nothing personally. Take nothing personally. If they, they insult you, they talk against you, don't, just, don't be too personal about it. Know that it's part of life. 
it. Persevere. Persevere. Perseverance means steady persistence in the course of action. Don't quit. Don't give up. Hang in there. Begin to encourage your own, yourself in the Lord. And be positive instead of being negative. Now, pray frustration killing prayers. The kind of prayers we're going to start praying just now. And lastly, rejoice in the Lord always. The Bible said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. These are ways to dismantle and to kill the serpents of frustration. But to say frustration will not come is a lie. It will come. But your attitude towards it decides what's happened to your life. If there is one difference between human beings on earth that makes a big difference is our attitude. The posture you use to face whatever is confronting you. This morning we have serious prayers to pray here. And I want to encourage you to pray with fire because this is one spirit the enemy wants to use this year. The devil will try and frustrate the believer. And yeah, thereby yeah. making them to misbehave and taking wrong decisions. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. The first thing to do while you are standing. So ask the Lord to forgive you of those sins in the area where you have been depressed, unhappy, and you demonstrated as if your God has no power. Ask the Lord to forgive you of that period when you allowed your heart to be seriously troubled up to the point of making you sick. Ask the Lord to forgive you for even permitting the thought of giving up or dying to come into your soul because of a problem. Ask the Lord to forgive you so that you can pray the prayers of today seriously. The power of God is already here now. At the agenda of that power is to disgrace every serpent of frustration. The power of God is here. And his glory is upon this place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The first three prayers I want you to pray. I want you to pray it as if it's the only prayer point left to be prayed this year. But pray it seriously. Frustration has driven so many people to despair. It has made some people to do what a believer should not really do. Sisters, shout this after me loud and clear. Power of inherited frustration. Is that the loudest the sisters can shout it here this one? Brothers, shout it louder than the sister. In the name of Jesus, deal with those powers now. Every inheritance frustration. Your time is up now. Yes. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. This is a serious matter. It's a dark cloud shifting away from somebody's head. Shout this loud and clear. Every power troubling my star. In the name of Jesus. Every power troubling my star. Thank you, Pat. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. My head. My head. Be lifted up. Above the power of frustration. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My head. My head. My head. Be lifted up. Oh yes, be lifted up. Be lifted up. Oh yes. My head. Be lifted up. Above the power of frustration. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh yes.
Be lifted up, be lifted up. Be lifted up. Oh yes, be lifted up. In Jesus' name we pray. Frustration that kept my eagle down. Can I hear that again? Frustration that kept my eagle down. Die! My eagle! Fly high! In the name of Jesus. Again, I want us to get that prayer point very well. Amen. 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 We are having it two in one. One power is going down and something is being lifted up. Frustration that kept my eagle down. Die. My eagle. Fly high. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Frustration that kept my eagle down. Your time is up. Your time is up. Your time is up. Oh, yes. Die. 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 In the name of Jesus. Die. My eagle. Fly. Fly. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Fly high. Fly high. Fly high. Fly high. Fly high. Fly high. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Situation that kept my eagle down. Your time is up. 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 Oh, yes. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Buried glories. They are being exhumed now. Buried testimonies. They are coming alive. Ah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Rod of God's anger. Rod of God's anger. Arise against the troubler of my destiny. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Rod of God's anger. Arise, arise. Oh, yes, arise. Arise, 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 arise. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Lord of God's anger. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. Against the trouble of my destiny. Against the trouble of my destiny. Against powers causing frustration for me. Oh, yes. Anger of God arise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Ancestral flow of frustration. On my life, do not mention anything that concerns you. Ancestral flow of, of, of frustration. On my life, on my marriage, on my career, on my children, on my business, on my finances, I stop you in the name of Jesus. Ancestral flow of frustration. On my life, I stop you. I stop you in the name of Jesus. I stop you. Oh yes, I stop you. I paralyze you. Oh yes, I stop you in the name of Jesus. I stop you. I stop you. I stop you. 
Oh yes, I stop you. You cannot continue again. Oh yes, you that ancestral flow of frustration. I stop you in the name of Jesus. I stop you, I stop you, I stop you, I stop you. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes, I stop you. Aha, uh -huh, I stop you. Oh yes, stop them. Uh -huh. Stop them, stop them. Oh yes. Stop that flow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh yes, stop it. Aha, uh -huh, stop it. Aha, uh -huh, yes, stop it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stop that prayer because of some people. You right. must put into action your faith. And you must put up some strength. Yes, we are waiting for you. That flow must stop. You have been experiencing it in your life. And in the lives of your children. And it has been going on and on and on like that. Today, it must stop. We are waiting for you. Oh, yes, because you will not live here the same way you came. We are taking that prayer point again because of such people. Ancestral flow of frustration. Oh, my life. I stop you. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, yes. I stop you. I stop you. You will not continue. I stop you. I paralyze you. I cut off your powers. Oh yes, I stop you. In the name of Jesus. I keep I shut you up. Aha. I shut you up. In the name of Jesus. I kill you off. In the name of Jesus. You will not operate again. Oh yes, you that ancestral flow of frustration. You are a liar. Your time has ended today. Aha. I stop you, I stop you, I stop you, I stop you, I stop you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. Thank you, Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. I believe we all have our prophetic um, prayer leaflets. We are going into that straight away. Do we all have a copy now? So we read our confession from the book of Isaiah 65, and we read through verses 21 and 22. Are we all there? Amen. So we'll take all the prayer points one by one. Just as we have seen it, it is prophetic. As we say it, they are established. Uh, Isaiah 65, 21, 22. We are going to confess it together. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. Amen. We want to read it to ourselves because it is prophetic. You can put your name there if you like. Let's go again. And I shall build houses and inhabit them. And I shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them. I shall not build and another inhabit. I shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of me and my family. And my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Amen. And so, we take the prayer point now, one after another, with fire, with aggression, and with great assurance and confidence that whatsoever we ask in his name, he shall do it. Hallelujah. Let's start off out loud. Don't let the voice of the next person to you cover your own. Eyes up on our feet. This is going to be a wonderful week of uncommon breakthroughs, <laughs> uncommon success, <laughs> healing, deliverance, transformation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Every arrow of frustration, go back to your center. Yeah, that 
Jesus. Open your heart and pray. Yes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. If you are of frustration, go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Uh, go back to your sender. I am free. Oh, yes. I am free. Uh -huh. I am free. A rule of frustration. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You see, some people in their sleep, every day, every week, every month, they find themselves paying for things they did not buy. They just pay out, pay out, pay out till the account is empty. They cannot explain how the money is going. And some, in health, they are just wasting away. They cannot explain what is going on. It is the work of ancestral dead collectors. And they do so many things to cause frustrations for people. We want to do a neat and clean job over this now. And after this, such people will not see them again. You will not experience them again. <laughs> Rather, they will be paying their debt and their money by themselves. <laughs> And you shall be a giver and not a borrower. <laughs> you will now start building and, in, and living in your building. <laughs> you will now start laboring and achieving the labor of your hands. <laughs> Hallelujah. We take this prayer for us. All ancestral dead collector. All ancestral dead collector. Forcing me to pay for what I did not buy. You are liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Oh yes. Every debt collector. Aha. Oh yes. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die. Let them die, let them die, let them die. The blood of Jesus has paid it all. Oh yes. Every debt collector. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you Lord. In Jesus name we pray. Altar of wickedness. That has caused me so much frustration. Your time is up. Be rested. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Deal with the altar of wickedness. Deal with them. Because you will not be frustrated again. Because frustration will die completely today. Oh yes. Deal with the altar of wickedness. That caused you frustration. Oh yes, deal with them, deal with them. Oh yes, you that altar of wickedness that has caused so much frustration. The fire of God is upon you. The fire of God is upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> my father, my father, my father. Shower upon me. Breakthroughs that will swallow up frustrations. My father, my father, my father. Shower upon me. Breakthroughs that will swallow up frustration. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my father, my father. My father, oh yes, shower, 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 shower. Oh. open me, oh yes, break truth <laughs> that will swallow up <laughs> and kill off <laughs> frustrations. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray.
Our Father, in the name of Jesus. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Elohim. Immortal God, invisible God. The all-sufficient God. The I am that I am. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. The King of kings. The one who was, who is, and who shall forever be. Thank you, Father, for this day. Thank you for this great deliverance. Thank you for this wonderful testimony. Thank you for chains that have been broken. Thank you for lives that will begin to move forward. Thank you, Father, for people that shall build and inhabit. Thank you for our hands that shall labor and enjoy the labor. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, we bless your name. Oh, Lord, as we depart from here, I pray, oh, God, that your mighty hand will be upon us in the name of Jesus for outstanding breakthroughs, for uncommon success, for new songs and testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy upon every dry bone here today, come alive in the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon every family here today, receive the light of God in the name of Jesus. The light that will blind your problems. The light that will blind your enemies. The light that will cause sorrow for your enemies. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every child from every home presented here today. You shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus. Let the hand of the Almighty go. Break every gate that resisted you last year. In the name of Jesus. And let there be bombardment of breakthroughs for you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Every witchcraft power, every family idol, every voice of wickedness. You are a liar. I stop you over this once. In the name of Jesus. Let your people be covered now. By the blood of Jesus and the Shekinah glory of the Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. As we go from here, let your presence go with us. And let us continue to rejoice in your name. Father, we thank you. Blessed be thy name, O God, forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. For seven times we are going to take this song. I'm bold. I'm strong, for the Lord my God is with me. Bold, I'm strong, for the Lord my God is with me. I am not afraid, no, 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 I am not dismayed. Because I'm walking in faith and victory, because I'm walking in Faith and victory for the Lord, my God, is me. Faster, 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 now I'm bold. I'm strong for the Lord, my God, is with me. I'm strong for the Lord, my God, is with me. I'm walking in faith and victory for the Lord. My God is with the final time. I'm bold. I'm bold. I'm strong. Lord, my God is with. Oh yes, I'm bold. I'm bold. I'm strong for the Lord. My God is with. Hallelujah, I am not dismayed. No, 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 I am not. Because I'm walking in faith and victory. Because I'm walking in faith and victory. For the Lord, my God, is
let's share the grace and fellowship.